Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create these Light of Friendship ornaments. I created a few of these already and put them in one of the stores I am selling in, and within 20 minutes, they all sold. So stay tuned and I will show you step by step how to create these Light of Friendship ornaments. Alright, so here is the light of friendship that I'm going to be using with my bulbs that I already had glittered. Um, if you're new at this and you have never glittered a Christmas bulb before, go back to my other video where I show you how to easily glitter an ornament. I will leave the link below. I will also leave all of my supplies I use in the description box below as well. So I found this light of friendship. Um, here in Design Space, you have to be subscribed to either the yearly or the monthly subscription to get this. I actually took the time and created my own, but it did not look as nice as this one. So I actually bought the yearly subscription because it was a little bit cheaper than the monthly and I uh, that's where I got this one from. So a uh, few things on this that I just want to do is change the size and I also want to change the color of the wording here. You can leave it all black if you want but if you have different colored Cricut, Cricut markers it would make it look a little bit neater. So all you got to do here is just, well, all I'm going to do is just change the size. So I'm like mine to be, I think about six by six. So with this selected, I'm going to go to the unlock box up here and then just change this to six by six. And you can change it to whatever size you want. Um, it's just the size that I'm choosing to use is just the six by six. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to do was just change the color a little bit. Um, you can cho you can choose to do this if you want, you don't have to, but with it already selected, I'm going to go down here to the detach button, and that's just going to allow me to be able to change the color on my lettering. So the first one I want to do is the light of friendship. I'm thinking that a few of them I want to do red and green and maybe a couple different colors for each of them depending on what color my bulbs are. Um, so this one I'm just going to change this to red. So with it selected I'm going to go up to this little color box up here and it's going to ask me what color pen I'm going to be using. So um, I'm going to choose something as close to red as possible for right now. Um, so when I go to cut it I know what color I'm going to be using. So this one I think is going to be green. So I'm just going to do the same thing, go to the little box up here, and then just look for like a green color. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see, so we'll do it so we can see it maybe. There we go. Um, so the last thing I want to do is just make sure that I attach everything because I detached it, it's going to cut it separately, which means that it will print out the writing on a different paper and then also cut it out on a different paper. So I want to make sure it does everything all together. So I'm going to go up to the select all button and then I'm just going to go down here to the attach button. And that's just going to make sure that everything gets done on the same piece of paper. It's going to cut out the design for me and it's also going to cut or print the letters for me as well. As you can see here, it says line type and it means it's saying multiples. So that's telling me that it's going to cut and draw. You can see it on the side here, this all says draw. So I don't have to do anything with that except for put my marker in. And then this piece is going to cut for me, so the blue. So. I'm not going to change the blue color because I'm just going to use different kinds of cardstock for this. So I'm just going to go up to make it because that's all you have to do. If you want to change the color, if you want to keep it all black, that's okay too. However you want to do it. If you want to change the size to a different, like doesn't have to be six by six. I actually think I'm going to do it a little bit longer now that I'm looking at it. So I'm going to push the cancel button. I'm going to go back and make it just a little bit longer, I think. Um, to make it a little bit stronger maybe because the ornaments are pretty heavy themselves. So I'm just going to select it here, click the unlock box, and just drag it down and make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Then you can see the letters and the words a little bit better. So I'm going to go back to make it. And the only thing I have to do is put my cardstock on my mat. And I'm going to be using a blue mat. I don't want my cardstock to be stuck to my mat. So I'm going to use a blue color mat 
and I'm going to put, I think it's going to ask me for the red color first, and then when that's done printing with the red, it's going to ask me for the green. So I like this much better how it looks. It looks to be about a little over 6 by uh, over, almost 8. So you can do it however what size you want, but I just want mine a little bit larger. So it's just asking me to connect to my machine, and the one that I found out that works for me is my base materials, is I found this cardstock, this heavy cardstock, and you kind of have to pick and choose what works for you so I'm gonna click this heavy cardstock but then I also go up to the pressure and I put less just it just works for me better that way so as you can see here it's telling me to load my pen in and I have a red color and then I also have my fine point blade in so it's gonna cut it out and it's gonna do the red and then once the red color is finished it's gonna stop it's gonna flip your machine's gonna flash and it's gonna tell you to change it to whatever color you have so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna cut this out I'll have it write it out for me I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll show you the next part of putting your ornament onto the piece of paper so stay tuned guys all right guys so I finished cutting these out they turned out really cool um, I did different sizes and um, I had a little problem with the Cricut cutting these out so it took me a little bit to get the settings correct so you might have to play around with that for a little bit but this is how they turned out I love it and I'm definitely going to be making some more. And here are the ornaments that I had made for them. Um, if you do not know how to do glitter ornaments, you want to check back at my uh, previous video. I show you how to do these. But these how this is how they turn out. I love them. And you can personalize these if you have like a name in mind and you can put the name on here. Like I'm going to make one for my daughter's friend, so I'm going to put her name on here. And it's just cute for them to hang on the Christmas tree and know every year that their friend gave it to them so it's kind of neat so I'm just gonna show you how to package these really quick so I bought these little hangers um, from Hobby Lobby and I also bought these ones they're a little bit thicker and it has a little bit of a jewel on it um, I bought it at 50% off everything was 50% off so I got a really great deal um, I think these ones these littler ones they come with 25 in each and I think it was like a dollar fifty for them so not bad at all when I do find deals I will leave them in the community section of my um, YouTube channel I told you guys about this so I hope it's still uh, available right now every Christmas item was 50% off off. I also bought these um, which comes in handy for tying the bag afterwards too but I always check out my stuff because when the Amazon Prime Day was too I left all the really awesome deals below and I actually bought a bunch of stuff from there and I bought a bunch of new mats because mine were getting kind of old so I always look up for that so let's get started with this so when you cut this out it'll give you this little section here so you can hang that's where these guys come in or you can use ribbon if you want but I thought this would look kind of neat okay so I all you want to do is take your piece if it's too long mine were too long so I just took it cut put a knot in it and then cut off the top because you don't want these hanging all the way down here so I just cut it so it's shorter up here so what you want to do is just take your little piece here and then put it in and kind of like go around the maze I guess <laughs> and get to the bottom part so it looks like that and then you just put it into your paper and you have to watch out what cardstock you use. I'm using really thick cardstock here. Um, I've tried other cardstock and it just doesn't work. I'm not sure the poundage on this, but it's thicker. So this is what it looks like afterwards. That's why I said if you want to cut the top off so it doesn't hang so far, or you can just use ribbon if you want. You don't have to go out and buy these, but I thought that looked kind of cute. So then I just have some dollar store bags here, just little gift bags. And I'm just going to put it in here. Just to make it look a little bit neater. Um, you can put it in a box or you know whatever you want. But I just thought it would be kind of cool just to have it in a little package. So there it is like that. And then I just take the top and kind of crumple it up a little bit. And then I have the string that I just showed you. And then I just make a nice bow on it. Just to make sure it's secured. So there, so that is so cute. I would absolutely love to get this as a gift. I'm going to be selling these at our local store. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, my ornaments last year, the glitter ornaments last year sold really, really well. So I did make some more. Like I said, I have a video prior to this one if you don't know how to do these. I show you how to make them. I show you how to attach your decals to it. And then I show you how to make the decals for it as well. So 
if you're interested in that, go back to the previous video and watch that one. But I love how these turned out. I'm going to finish these ones and just put the rest of these guys on here. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. But this was a really quick and easy project to do. And I think anybody would love to receive these. And like I said, you can personalize it any way you want with these. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have fun finishing packages, packaging these up. And then I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. So how do you guys think these turned out? I absolutely love them myself. You can customize them any way you want and change the ornament color and the paper color as well. They sold really well for me, so I need to go ahead and make some more and take to the stores that I sell in. I hope this tutorial helps you out and you go out and create your own Light of Friendship ornaments as they were so easy to create. Happy crafting everyone and happy holidays!